Hey there, my name is Provis and welcome back to more Plague Inc. Evolved Custom Scenarios. I know, I know, not Cure Mode, not yet, not the Frozen Virus. I've had a few people asking me about it as of late, because I know like a couple months ago it came out on mobile, and I am excited about that, and I'm definitely going to play it when it comes out on PC, but until it comes out to Plague Inc. Evolved, that's just gonna have to go on the back burner. All right, so let's try a couple of scenarios that I found recently that seemed pretty good. The first of which is going to be the Mega Bacterium by Onkay. And by the way, I just have to say, Onkay on Steam has a profile picture of Gumball from the Amazing World of Gumball, and I never talked about it before, but I think that show is freaking outstanding and hilarious, even as an adult. Anyway, after years of antibiotic use, some superbugs have evolved from regular bacteria, but usually scientists find another antibiotic to fight the superbug. But you have risen, a mega bacterium. You are immune to many, many, many antibiotics. Will you be stopped? That's a great question. This is actually, you know, kind of like an actual major nightmare scenario for a lot of healthcare providers that someday we're not going to be able to find an antibiotic that actually can deal with the bacteria. Basically, we kind of go through a uh, forced evolution, uh, getting rid of all the bacteria that can't survive to that antibiotic until we're left with nothing. And then all of a sudden, you have a superbug that's unstoppable. That's the theory. Could very well happen someday. Hopefully not in my lifetime, and all you kiddos can deal with the mess. Anyway, metabolic jump, Darwinist, aquasite extremophile, and symptostasis seems fine to me. And it is called Staphylococcus aureus. That's not how you pronounce it, but it's funny to say it. Anyway, welcome to the Mega Bacteria Plague first custom scenario. Don't think of me as a sucky maker. Oh, come on. This plague is very hard. Are you sure? Well, we'll find out. Let's go ahead and start in Egypt, just for fun. I'm going to start off in Egypt with Staphylococcus. And for our transmissions, it looks like it's the standard stuff over here. So we got our air, water, blah, blah, blah. And for the symptoms, we have something unique, a fever and also nausea. Okay, sounds good. And it looks like the generic abilities as well. So maybe we find some more customization later on, or maybe it's just going to be some unique symptoms. I don't know. I'm hoping we're going to find ourselves getting basically some super-powered bacterial resilience, or at the very least, this drug resistance goes down some ridiculous levels. I actually feel like maybe you should start with a level or two of this just to fit with the theme, but, you know, whatever. It doesn't matter too much. I'm going to be going... For the air transmission, whoa, voice, what happened there? Holy cram, sorry about that. Anyway, going for the air transmission because starting off in uh, the rural areas of Egypt or the arid regions of Egypt, it does make some sense. But water transmission makes a lot of sense as well since we do start off with a double port going into two separate directions. Let's go ahead and pick that sucker up. Yeah, my voice is a little bit out of practice, I will admit. So at the time I'm recording this, I actually just came back from Paradox Con in Sweden not too long ago. I had a heck of a lot of fun, that was great, but it means I'm out of practice. And that's actually why I've been uh, missing a couple of videos this week. I do apologize about that, but I appreciate your patience nonetheless. Let's go for the fever. Increases the infectivity by a pretty reasonable amount. That seems nice. So wait, this disease is supposed to be very difficult, right? That's what the author said. It's a very difficult plague. How is this possible, though? I'm supposed to have more access to antibiotic resilience than any disease prior, right? That's kind of the theme of this whole scenario, which basically should mean that it's borderline impossible to kill me or cure me, am I right? Maybe? I don't know. Anyway, uh, nausea? That's still a pretty decent amount of infectivity. Gosh, the voice did it again. Did you hear it? Did you hear it? That's twice in a row! Almost anyway, we just got vomiting for free, all right. Severity is getting up there, that's just kind of what I want to get right now. I'm getting into new countries, I'd like to be getting some more DNA and farm that sucker out. So a little bit of extra severity seems nice. The headache could be good for us. And then there's narcolepsy, the inability to control sleep and wakefulness. You simply pass out right then and there, boom. I've always kind of wondered what it's like to be a narcoleptic. Do you even realize you're about to fall asleep or is it kind of like just blacking out and all of a sudden you wake up on the floor with a massive headache? I have no idea. Any narcoleptics in the chat? If so, I apologize. I don't mean to make light of your condition. I'm just genuinely curious. That's it. it sound it's it sounds awful, but also fascinating. Just how you would live your life. Anyway, let's go over some insects before I dig myself into any more of a hole. If I haven't already, I don't think I've said anything offensive. I'll just say that straight out. And yet, you know what? It's the internet. I've I've been surprised before. Very surprised. Anyway, we are getting into quite a few more countries right now. The severity is looking okay. Let's get some additional air and additional water. I do still need to be getting some cold resistance probably right about now, actually, since we are getting into some colder areas. I'd also love to go ahead and start picking up some of that drug resistance. So we'll go ahead and pick up at least one level of that since we're now spreading prolifically in Europe. 
Do you like that? Prolifically. That's a word right there. I like it. Uh, genetic hardening. Now, let's go for the drug resistance level two. There's not even a level three? Oh, come on. How are we a mega bacterium if there's not at least a level three? There must be something interesting down the symptoms. What do we have here? Brain damage. Injury to the brain impairs its functions, especially permanently. Yes, especially permanently. <laughs> Vomiting blood, indicating near organ failure. This is going to ramp up that lethality a little bit to an uncomfortable amount, and since I have Darwinist, I'm a little bit concerned about how that's going to work out, but we'll see. Let's pick up a level of bacterial resilience and then also some water, and since we have the DNA, I'll take that extreme bio aerosol so that we can spread very, very quickly through our main transits. I'm going to get rid of that brain damage, to be honest. I think that that's not a good idea right now. We haven't spread very sufficiently through uh, Scandinavia including Sweden, where I just was, right over there, and Russia. So maybe some rural uh, transmission would be in order. A little bit of livestock action, do you think? Maybe. Um, yeah, there's not a lot I can do right now except sort of sit on some of these points. I'll pick up a second level of bacterial resilience in case that's going to lead to something exciting because I do see that there's a fourth level over here, which is not typical. I'm pretty sure there's normally only three. Super bug! Look in the Petri dish! It's a bird, it's a plane, it's Superbug! The strain of bacteria resistant to antibiotic drugs. 20 DNA to pick that sucker up. 20, I tell you. All right, well, we'll go ahead and do it. Is it basically the next level of drug resistance? I'm gonna go ahead and guess that that's exactly what it is, but it does seem a little bit weird that it's locked onto the bacterial resilience over here because these specifically say that it's uh, for class three and four antibiotics. So I would have actually put a third level of drug resistance right here instead and basically say you are immune and that eliminates all wealthy country advantages. That's probably how I would have done it. But you know what? It's A-OK -okay with me. Hey, did we manage to mutate something? Then why do we have death? I don't know, but people are dying. OK, let's go for vomiting blood. That leads to total organ failure. And then we do have the brain damage. They're trying to cure me right now, but that's not OK. Hey, can we please send a boat out to like Greenland or something? Because like, you know, I'm, I'm not seeing any boats go out. Norway just closed down and I'm kind of trying to ramp up that lethality before bad things happen, but you're all not working with me, and that's making me sad. Let's get some genetic hardening by myself. There we go! All right, we're in Greenland. That's good. So we can pick up a little bit more lethality, but not too... Oh, well, okay. There's a total organ failure right there. We got to keep an eye on this. We do not want to die off too fast. We don't have any form of necrosis. Now, that said, with so much bacterial resilience, I would imagine we are going to be spreading rapidly in that country, so we should still be okay. But let's keep an eye on it and not mess this up. A coma, of course, slows down the cure quite a lot, which is great if you're trying to buy yourself a bit of extra score, but I'm not worried about that at the moment. There are 28% complete. Uh, this plague was supposed to be very hard, yes? This is what I was told. Am I just this good at the game? Am I a god? I don't know, maybe. Uh, I'm watching the numbers here. This is not looking great, to be honest, so I am actually going to go ahead and devolve the total organ failure. I know, I know, but we've got so much DNA, I'm not really worried about it. There we go. Just trying to hit critical mass, hit an exponential curve, so that we will not be able to get overcome by the deaths. Uh, we can go ahead and just buy, like, a genetic reshuffle or two for fun. They're at 50%, but we'll just set that right back to 37. And now we can murder everybody. So we'll go for that total organ failure in the coma, and then we have the mega bug! <laughs> it's n in the Petri dish. It's not a bird nor a plane, not even super bug. It's mega bug! All right, a strain of a super bug that is extremely powerful and very deadly. Yeah, we're going to max out that lethality, which is good since, you know, everyone's been infected. This is just going to speed things up a little bit. Do we want to go for the next level of genetic reshuffle? I don't see why not. That just sets things back down to only 26%. Wow, that was pretty ineffective. But okay, everyone's going to start dying off by the tens of millions per day. By the way, this kind of statements, you know, people dying by tens of millions and glorifying in it. This is where people... Uh, in the news, uh, have made fun of me, or at least said that seems really uncomfortable. I'm trying to remember, when COVID actually first broke out, my, uh, channel got covered. Well, kind of. They used footage from my channel. On the Canadian News Network, and I specifically remember, uh, after they detailed, like, some of the game and stuff and simulating diseases and stuff, you know, while everyone was still very curious about COVID, the news lady at the end of the segment was like, playing a game where you kill billions of people. That doesn't seem appropriate. <laughs> I'm like, ah, oh, come on! Whatever, anyway. 459 days! That took longer than it should have. All right, well, that's fine. 25% cure progress, 54,354 points for two stars in total. Honestly, I would say that the scenario is fine. Like, there's really nothing wrong with it. The extra customization that came in the uh, symptoms tree is maybe just a smidge sparse, but overall fine, not imbalanced at all. It's A-OK. -okay. There's a little customization in the abilities, but I think that's mostly where this scenario kind of um, falls a little bit flatter than I think it could. A little bit more customization and a little bit more focus on the actual theme, right? Yes, there's a super bug. Yes, there's a mega bug, but it comes into play so late 
that it really doesn't matter all that much, and I don't think it made a very discernible difference by the time that I could pick that stuff up. Starting off with some strong resistances to antibiotics and stuff would make a lot of sense, and then I would go ahead and encourage, you know, ramping up the difficulty in a couple of other ways in order to balance it out and make it interesting. That's just how I would do things. Otherwise, though, I still think this is worth a thumbs up. Thank you for creating the scenario, and thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If so, I would ask you to hit that like button, leave a comment, subscribe, hit the notify bell, and I will see you guys next time. <laughs>